Hello everyone, my name is Arnold Lopez and I'm going to be giving you insight to the career of registered nursing. I interviewed Sherlamar Da Silva, she's a registered nurse and holds a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing and she also specializes in cardiology nursing. She came from the Philippines to the U.S. and it's always been a dream to come because she was inspired by her grandmother who was also a registered nurse and the first person in her family to come to the U.S. from the Philippines. And that's how she decided on the career that she chose. And the requirements for the, to become a nurse, you have to either get an associate's or a bachelor's degree. And when you're finished with school, you also have to pass a state license exam or the national license exam. If you do not get that license, you are unable to work. But if you do somehow get it, a typical day will consist of 12-hour shifts, and your shifts will begin by discussing patient treatment, uh, medication, and plan of care. And you also have to educate your patients if they are newly diagnosed with diabetes. You have to teach them how to give themselves insulin. So that way when they are discharged, they know how to do it properly. They don't kill themselves. And some of the current trends right now in nursing is new technology and innovations and increased use of technology. Ms. De Silva explained to me that when she first started, she had to write down everything on paper. And throughout the years, she had to start learning how to type and use computers effectively and efficiently. And uh, preemptive care, preemptive care includes being healthy and taking care of yourself, uh, immunizations, and um, staying healthy and eating right. So the good things about the job is taking care of people, the paychecks are good, and you have a lot of opportunities. If you choose that you don't want to work at a hospital, you can work at a clinic, or be a nurse on wheels, or you could teach higher education, which is uh, Ms. De Silva's goal. And some of the challenges that come with being a nurse is um, understaffed hospitals, difficult patients, and being on call. And understaffed hospitals makes the job much harder for nurses because um, they typically get four patients at a time, but when, the, when it's understaffed, they have to take care of six to seven patients, which makes their work, um, it decreases their, the, the quality of their work. Right. And um, so difficult patients come in and they give nurses a hard time, even though the nurse is just trying to take care of them. Some of them are rude, impatient, and uh, mean. And the last challenge is being on call. Being on call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very hard for a nurse to be on call because they don't get to spend much time with their family. And, a shift is 12 hours and when they work overtime it can be as long as 16 hours so they ever they never really have time to spend time with their family so that makes it hard for nurses and if you decide to be a nurse after everything that I said uh, she recommends you continue your education uh, go to specialty conferences that discuss new technology in nursing um, new treatments and new innovations and she, she also recommends that you take uh, your CPR renewal course every two years, otherwise you get fired. And so aside from the good benefits and the difficult challenges, the best part about being a nurse, according to Mr. Silva, is being able to save lives at the end of the day. Thank you for coming and I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask right now. If not, thank you for coming. And any questions? No. No. All right. Cool. If you can all please come up here and show yourselves. Be good. All right. Thank you, everybody. Uh, just.